Hi guys, welcome to today's session. Thank you all for your responses on yesterday. And our yesterday's quiz question was, which body recommends fair and remunerative prices to farmers? And the answer is, it is recommended by Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs. That is the right answer. Let's now start today's session. First question for the day, COGEX recently seen in the news is related to option A, cyber security, option B, malware, option c fighter aircraft and option d artificial intelligence guys the correct answer here is it is option d artificial intelligence cogex is a prestigious global leadership summit and festival of artificial intelligence and emerging technology it is held annually in london with over 15000 participants in attendance from highest level of business government industry and research and the cogex awards are given to the uh, best of the best in artificial intelligence and emerging technologies across the world and uh, recently in this year the artificial intelligence enabled my gov corona help desk bagged two awards under categories one is best innovation for covid 19 society and uh, second is people's choice covid 19 overall winner award so it was uh, awarded at recently held COGX 2020 summit and my GOV Corona help desk demonstrated the true public private partnership wherein citizen centric services were provided by my GOV while the state of art technological solution including infrastructure were designed developed and deployed by a private partner called Geohaptic Technologies Limited. So this check box uh, has been developed by MyGOV, Geohaptic Technologies Limited and WhatsApp. So that is it and MyGOV is launched in 2014. It is the world's largest citizen engagement platform which facilitates two-way communication between the government and citizen and facilitates participatory governance in India. So that's it. We will now move to second question for the day. Second question is Globa and Sony recently seen in the news is a option A critically endangered plant species, option B vaccine against COVID-19, option C Russian te space telescope and option D a type of butterfly. Guys the correct answer is it is option A critically endangered plant species. The plant is commonly known as dancing ladies or swan flowers was thought to have been extinct until its recollection for the first time since 1875. And the Globa and Sony are characterized by white flowers. The spe species has been listed as critically endangered on the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species. It is also termed as narrowly endemic as the species is restricted mainly to the Tista River Valley region which includes Sikkim Himalayas and Darjeeling Hill Ranges. And guys the plant usually grows in a dense colony as a lithophyte which is plant growing on a bare rock or stone or uh, this grows on uh, rocky slopes in the outskirts of evergreen forest it is especially prevalent uh, near small waterfalls along the roadside leading to the this uh, hill forest which are 400 to 800 me meter above the sea level and recently a team of researchers have rediscovered this rare plant species uh, from the Sikkim Himalayas species have been found near Tista Valley region after a gap of nearly 136 years so that was in news that's why this question is asked and guys our today's quiz question is we talked about IUCN our question is where is the headquarters of IUCN located please post your answers in the comment section we'll now move to last question for the day last question is Prakash Singh case often seen in the news is associated with Option A, Women Safety, Option B, Tax Reforms, Option C, Right to Privacy and Option D, Police Reforms. Guys, the correct answer here is, it is a very famous case, very easy question also. It is Option D, Police Reforms. This Prakash Singh case of 2006, the Supreme Court gave seven directives with a view to bring police reforms. In passing these directives, the court put on record the deep-rooted problems of politicization, lack of accountability mechanisms and systemic weaknesses that have resulted in poor all-round performance uh, with policing. 
and these directives are constituted as state security Co commission ensure that the state government does not exercise unwarranted influence or pressure on the police lay down broad policy guideline and evaluate the performance of the state police ensure that dgp is appointed through merit based transparent process etc there are seven directives in total it's a very important uh, main topic also you can quote uh, this uh, prakash singh case in related questions in your mains answer writing so please go through it it's a very important case that's it that's all for today guys we'll meet tomorrow with another set of questions please post answer to the quiz question and just cause in the comment section thank you for watching